Hello learners. We are going to solve sums of exercise 2.3. In this video, I will solve question number 9 and question number 11, which are based on the formula of growth. So, let us see how we will solve the sum. Say this is question number 9. A factory increased its production of cars from 80,000 in the year 2011-12. To 92,610 in 2014 and 15. Find the annual rate of growth or production of the cars. So, let us see what is given. We will try to understand this year 2011, 2012. In this year, the production was this one, and in this year 2014 and 15, the production is 92,610. So, how many years are there between these two years? This is 11 12. So, after this, the year will be 12 13 and 13 14 and 14 15. I will explain you here. Please show the notebook. For timing, try to understand what I am going to write. This is just for your explanation. I am going to write T is equal to that many years. Why? Just see. First year was, let me see the question 2011 to 12. And after that, 2014 to 15 is given so this is the starting maybe present year okay so next year will be 2012 13 after that 2013 14 and then 14 15 so this year the production was 80,000 and this year production was 92,610 so we have to find out what was the growth uh, rate okay so when we will count from this year to this year this is one year second year third year that's why we are going to take rate as time as three years so let's start t is equals to three years according to the question you may start like that according to the question t is equal to three years v0 let v0 is equal to let me see the book number of cars produced in year 2011-12 and that was 80,000 and V is number of cars produced in year 2014-15 and that was 92,610. So we need to find out growth rate. What was the growth rate? So we will use the formula of growth rate that is V is equals to V0 1 plus R by 100 to the power t now what is given this is given 92610 and what is v0 that was 80000 so 3 years earlier this was the production and after 3 years this was the production 1 plus r by 100 r we don't know and timing is 3 years we will transfer it here 92610 divided by 80000 and here is 1 plus r by 100 add it as it is will write 0 0 cancelled this cube will become cube root this side uh, 9261 8000 here is 1 plus r by 100 and we knew that 9261 is cube of 21 and 8000 is cube of 20 so after this what we will do here we can complete it so uh, this is cube so cube and cube root will cancel in each other so 21 by 20 is equals to 1 plus r by 100 transferring one this side 21 by 20 minus 1 r by 100 so the lcm will be 20 here is 21 minus 20 r by 100 so it is 1 by 20 is equals to r by 100 therefore it is 100 by 20 
so r is equals to 5 percent therefore our rate is what growth rate is 5 percent that is our answer okay now we'll solve question number 11 let's see what is that question number 11 we can solve with the help of compound interest also and because this is given here so i'm going to solve it with the help of growth rate formula what is given let's see mahindra set up a factory of by investing rupees 25 lakh okay during the first two years his profits were 5% and 10% these are the growth rate r1 and r2 for two successive years respectively if each year the profit was on previous years capital calculate the calculate is total profit if you will see this question in question paper during examination you may solve it with the help of the compound interest formula also that is also correct and here we are solving sum of growth and rate so we will use that formula so let's see how we will solve the sum let's start what is given let me bring the book here this side let initial investment is equals to rupees two lakh fifty thousand twenty five lakh it is twenty five lakh initial investment is and this will be v zero let initial investment will be twenty five lakh okay growth rate we will write growth rates r1 first year the growth rate was five percent and second year r2 growth rate was ten percent so we need to find out the profit not only v profit is equals to what so let's see first of all we will find out the value of v then we will subtract v and v0 that will be the profit of mahindra so let's start how we will solve the sum we know the formula v is equals to what v is equals to v0 into 1 plus r by 100 to the power t this is a general formula but this is a special case so we'll use formula v is equals to v0 1 plus r1 by 100 into for next year just uh, this is 1 plus r2 by 100 both formulas are same on the special cases here because the rates are different so separately we have written both the bracket now v is equals to here we will write 25 lakh then 1 plus 5 by 100 and then 1 plus 10 by 100 then again we will write 25 lakh lcm is 100 so here is 100 plus 5 here lcm is 100 so this 100 plus 10 now 20 now simple calculation we are doing 105 110 one zero zero one zero zero so one two three four one two three four so what are the remaining numbers 250 into 105 and 110 250 into 105 into 110 when you will multiply you will get 28 lakh 87 thousand 500 this is the number of cars produced after two years okay uh, actually that was not number of cars that was the uh, that was uh, Mahindra's investment that was 25 lakh but now his uh, Grow, growth is here and you can see now the amount became 28 lakh 87,500 rupees therefore what is his, that is V therefore his profit is equals to V minus V0 that was 28 lakh 87,500 minus 25 lakh and this will be equals to 387500 
that is three lakh eighty seven thousand five hundred was his net profit after two years so here this answer finished thank you